Question number eight, Brendan Burns. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister and asks, does the Prime Minister stand by all his public statements on water quality in New Zealand? The okay. Honourable Dr. Nick Smith on, on behalf, behalf of, Prime of the Prime Minister, yes. Brendan Burns. Supplementary question. Now the Auditor General joins a chorus saying our water quality is deteriorating, mostly due to intensifying agriculture. Will the Prime Minister take back his comments to the BBC dismissing Massey ecologist Mike Joy's views about degrading water quality as being just those of one scientist and quote, and like lawyers, I can give you another with a counter view? The Honourable Dr Nixon. Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister stands by that statement for good reason. It's true. And I note that last week, Mr Kevin Paris, the OECD guest at the Lake Water Quality Conference in New Zealand, said this. Firstly, that in his experience, New Zealand matched up to its clean green image. And secondly, he noted, and the government agrees, that more does need to be done in respect of improving management of fresh water quality, particularly in terms of lowland catchments. Brendan Burns. Supplementary question to the Prime Minister. When he quoted Lincoln University scientist Ken Huey in the House as one counter view and quoted him saying, quote, the perceived state of New Zealand fresh water is good, a view supported by science, unquote, why did he not give the full statement which says, lowland streams not so good, farming increasingly seen as a major cause of damage, management improving, but issues around farm runoff, unquote. Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, the truth is, and the OECD report states it, the Auditor General's report states it, international survey states it, and that is New Zealand's overall standard of freshwater quality is very good by international standards. To quote the Environmental International Index that is prepared by Yale and Columbia University, it rates New Zealand's freshwater quality at 99.2, the second best in the world. Brendan Burns. To the Prime Minister. Will the Prime Minister confirm that the Yale report, which he used to justify his claim that our water quality is second only to Iceland, has in fact been widely ridiculed by leading freshwater scientists and environmentalists, including former National Party candidate Guy Salmon, who says it's, quote, totally flawed? The Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, yes, I have read the commentary around the Yale and Columbia University's Environmental Performance Index. And the key question they ask is not about the data for New Zealand, but how reliable the data is for some of the other countries. That does not change. The Yale and Columbia University allocating New Zealand's, their assessment of New Zealand's fresh water as 99.2. Furthermore, I would say the government has initiated measures to improve the way in which we measure freshwater quality so we've got better data and we've uh, put a discussion paper out about the systems to ensure that there is more reliable measurements on which we can make that assessment about the quality of New Zealand freshwater. Point of order, Brendan Burns. Point of order, I seek the leave of the House to table the Lincoln University study quoted by the Prime Minister or partly quoted by the Prime Minister on freshwater it is from Ken Huey and two others. Leave is sought to table that document. Is there any objection? There is no objection. Question number nine, the Honourable John Biscowan. 